This is a vintage V4 Icon with a distressed finish in vintage white. Now the neck, I don't know if this is oiled or just got a satin finish, but this feels amazing. And the fretboard is slightly worn in, 22 frets, 12 inch radius, this is rosewood, so it feels amazing. In fact, my dad's been playing this quite a lot over the last couple of weeks, I've had it a little while. He loves this bass, yeah. <laughs> absolutely loves it. And he actually said, can you set up my Fender Jazz to feel as nice as this? Oh really? I was going to call the guys at um, JHS or Vintage and say, can you set up my dad's Fender? <laughs> <laughs> like, genuinely, I was like, can you? Because this yeah. plays absolutely amazingly. Yeah, it's great. All the parts are, are worn in, so it looks really cool. I like the distressed finish. It just feels nice. It gives it a nice matte finish. These are the Wilkinson WOBP pickups. We'll have a listen in a minute. It's got one volume, one tone, all your normal stuff. Wilkinson bridge, Wilkinson tuners, so all the hardware's pretty much everything on it's Wilkinson. We'll have a super aged as well, aren't they? Like, yeah, it looks cool. I like it. Uh, leave a comment if you if you like or dislike relic stuff. But I I quite like it. Yeah, I think it's good. I didn't used to get it, but then you start playing relic things and you think, <laughs> right, this is everything. And this there aren't many controls. There's volume, which does this. <laughs> so we won't demonstrate volume, but I'll do tone on full and tone not on full. down you were playing this last night what did you think i think the neck is wonderful like such a nice setup on it the fretboard is nicely rolled the back is really nice satin smooth finish it's one of the nicest bases to actually play um, the sound of it was really good as well. Um, oh yeah, it felt quite, sounded quite smooth. Like it was nice to have a difference because obviously I use, usually play the jazz bass or the music man. So having a P bass, yeah, it didn't sound, sound out of place because no. we played basses before and we're like it doesn't sound right, but this fits no, in. actually f for particular songs it sounded better than the other ones we got just for certain things, which I wasn't really expecting to be honest. I just. You know, it's quite a low price point. This is around £450 on their website, so if you go to JHS or to Vintage Guitars, I think it's 440 or 460 So it's a mid-price guitar, but uh, I mean, gotta be honest, like you keep saying, you sort of, if the neck's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My dad wants his Fender to play as good as this, so that yeah, says a lot. It's really nice. I swear it's similar tuning things to um, a Fender. I can't remember what this one looks like, apart from it's shinier, but. Yeah, I think I, the only, the only odd thing of difference about it for me was the f how light the body is oh yeah the body's poplar so the body is quite light but if you're doing a if you're a gigging musician or you're playing or even long rehearsals we do long rehearsals it's not gonna like make your shoulder ache because no it's, the music man it feels like you're not playing anything <laughs> <laughs> if you've, you've done three hours on the music man that yeah. must feel like something terrible has happened to you the complete opposite that's the heaviest <laughs> <laughs> the heaviest body i've ever picked up do you want to have a play why not? So it sounds nice, it does the P bass thing perfectly. The good thing about a P bass is it fits in a mix easily and well yeah. last night it didn't even occur to me that you were playing a different <laughs> instrument. Yeah, and it's really good to have that as an option as well. So I would happily just carry on playing a jazz bass but for certain songs, certain styles, certain times, you just like to have a different option, and it's definitely a different sound having a P, a P bass. Yeah, definitely. I've got um, the vintage V74 um, bass in the corner, which is like a jazz bass. Again, my dad played that, and <laughs> plays better than his yeah. Fender jazz bass. The vintage instruments are all play amazingly. I, I think because the necks are good. Yeah, that like that's if, all it's about. If you haven't me. put any effort into the neck, it feels like a terrible instrument. Whereas these, the, the fretboard. It's not rolled, but it's not sharp like a fender. It's mm. um, just nice, you know, it's worn in. Because um, if it's too rolled, it, it like some fretboards are too rolled and you're like, yeah. this is a pain. But the frets are, are lovely. All the ends are really rounded rather than just yeah. sort of snapped off with, a, with an axe. They've definitely got the perfect amount of roll or war wornness. Yeah, it's really nice. And watch this video on the Vintage V74, which is like their take on a jazz bass. Again, uh, really nice playing bass. In fact, when I reviewed it, I called them up and asked to keep it because it, 
well, I love it. Candy apple red. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching.